good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time is reach you, I greet you. This just an RV update to keep y'all posted, man. I just heard from the shop. They say so. The the front suspension is nice and tight. That's a win. That's a win. The brakes, however, are a different story. I don't know nothing about brakes, but you know what I'm saying? They give me a quick little rundown. The on oil locked up. The front hose is cracking. Just normal things because they've been sitting up so long. So I kind of get it. The bay they need to put it in ain't going to be open for a minute. So it's going to be a second. Cool. That's what we know. I know that I was going to need brakes anyway. Bro told me I was going to need brakes and probably calibers and a few other things because it had been sitting up for a couple years all things that come with dealing with older vehicles but the fact that it's older also means that i can convert it however i want to opposed to just having to take what they give me if you get what i'm saying other than that though you know what i'm saying i don't really have too much more information the shop let me know what's going on i let y'all know what's going on it be people that really want to stay up and in tune with this story so i be trying to give it to y'all as fast as i get it i'm not trying to hold no information from you and i don't want to be walking around with it so when somebody asks me oh what's up with the rv only thing i got to say is i see you don't follow my youtube and they gonna take that personal like what you mean because if you follow my youtube you would know everything that i know because as soon as i find out i tell my youtube so i don't have to worry about it so anybody who want to watch the video gets to watch the video and find out it's still in the shop and i am grateful for the shop taking their time to put it together because while it's there they don't charge me for storage You know, you know, it got to be, you know, it got to be a catch to it. I don't have to read, I registered the vehicle, but I don't have to get insurance or put no plates on it until I can get an inspection. And I can't get an inspection until it will pass inspection. And until it passes inspection, the shop go have it. That way, I don't have to worry about where I'm going to put it or what I'm going to do with it. Everything work out the way that it's supposed to. My friend called him from prison. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, now.